What's that you got cooking? Apple do stew with apple do's. Mm, didn't we have that yesterday? Or the day before? No. Yesterday it was baked apple do with apple do's. And the day before it was fried apple do's. With apple do's. <sighs> I remember now. Sorry, I'm doing what I can to switch up our meals. But in my defense, we have a pretty limited set of ingredients. Hey, I wasn't complaining. I'm glad that you're doing the cooking. Otherwise, I'd be eating, I guess, <laughs> apple juice. <laughs> oh, did you have a chance to look at the engine? Yeah. It does seem like it took some damage upon landing, but I should be able to fix that real quick. I also have some good news. What's that? I love you. Oh, with the lights off? Works for me. Uh, no. I didn't do that. Ugh, we must have run out of flow. Weren't you supposed to charge up the nest today? Excuse me if I was working on the engine. I can't do everything. No worries. I'll go get some more outside. If I'm lucky, I'll stumble upon something to spice up the apple juice. <gasps> I'll come with you. Over there, a flow thread. Perfect. Although it seems like one thread won't be enough. No worries, we'll find others. Whoops. Try again. Yes! Just like that. Good thing there are plenty of flow threads around here. It allows you to change direction without having to stop all the time. Do I do that? We all do it. One or two more threads and we'll be all set. Sorry, birds. We didn't see you. Apple juice again. Who knows how long we're going to be stuck here. We might as well stock up. All right. I'm all charged up. Me too. We can go when you're ready.
All good. This should last us a few days. Now it's our turn to fill up. Huh? I'm hungry. Done. Roasted apple dews with apple dews. I can't tell if you're actually excited about this or if you just enjoy seeing me suffer. <clears throat> How long do you think this is gonna last? The flow? Well, if we keep our consumption in check, I think a few days. No, I meant us. Us here. How long until they come get us? Ah, uh, do we have to talk about this? We are going to need to at some point. We need to be prepared. We need a plan. I'm planning on finishing my plate without hearing about the apiary. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. And FYI, you are the one that ruined the mood, not me. We've already eaten too much. I can never eat too much. Okay, I've already eaten too much. Wow, these floating islands are really something. Yeah. Never imagined I would ever see this. You? All right. Let's talk about it. Fine. Uh, I was just gonna ask if you could switch off the light. Oh. You've been mulling it over this whole time? Of course I've been mulling it over this whole time. Thank you for adding one more thing to my mind. Hold on. Are you telling me you hadn't thought about it before? You know what? No, I hadn't thought about it. I'm trying not to think about the apiary. Enjoy what we have here. Even if it isn't much. Um, Do you really think that they can come get us here? If we could take the flow bridge here, then so can they. But there's no way they can know where we are. Is there? I cut off the auto nav, the astrolock. Even the landing was all manual. I'm just saying, let's prepare for the worst. At worst, I kill them. Whoa, you. What? If that's what it takes not to go back, I'll do it. No problem. Kill them, steal their ship. By the time they send more guys, we'll be far away. You're seriously not considering... Maybe not. Maybe I am. At worst, we'll know. You're scaring me. <laughs> oh, come on. You're totally safe. You're my teddy bear. I'm... Not sure how I should take this. <laughs> well, take me in your arms for a start. You aren't dressed yet? I put on my pajamas. I mean, to get out. 
Well, see, I was just wondering, do we have to get out? Can't we just hang in the nest for once? Lounge around, read a book, watch a movie? We don't have movies. Right, sure, but you know what I mean. Come on, the weather's great. But the weather is always great. For now, who knows, tomorrow could be the beginning of the long winter months. It could last for years. One more reason to stock up on apple juice. Mm. You know, always being right is not necessarily a good quality. On the contrary, many people find it very unappealing. You? Not sure. Do you remember where the apple juice were? Could we try and pick something else for a change? Is it me or is the ground shaking? It's shaking. It's shaking a lot. Is it over? Seems like it. A anything broken? No. No, I don't think so. <sighs> well, except... <sighs> oh, I think the nest is done. Yeah, but that's our home. <sighs> that's true. It is our home. Look, we can always search the islet, try and find a way to get to the other side. Such as? I, I don't know. A, a rope, a jetpack, spring-loaded shoes, anything. And if we don't find it? If we don't find... Uh, I don't know. That's why we'll have to find something. Okay. This is a pretty one. I, uh, I think I found something. Huh? <gasps> Call me crazy, but this looks like a Bluton? Yep, it looks like a flow bridge. Kind of like the one we took to get here, but smaller? Is that possible? Why not? We, we still don't really know how the flow bridges work in space. But if the phenomenon can happen on a macro scale, then why not on this one? If there can be flow between two planets, why not two bits of a planet? Okay. If this really is a flow bridge, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. What? Flow bridges are linking one place to another, right? So this one definitely leads someplace. Wait, y you want to just get on there without knowing where it goes? It goes elsewhere. I think that's as good a start as any. Huh. Um... Do we have everyone? Okay? Here. <laughs> then we're good. 
Looks like we're on another islet. Yeah. The bridge seems to be a link between the islets. If there are any others like this, we may be able to get back to the nest. Do you see what I'm seeing? Uh, a big ugly lizard? No, the mushrooms on its back. Looks like a type of hygrocybrubicins. Ah, is that good news? Like, can we eat it? Oof, not at all. Unless you're looking for a quick way to unload your kidneys. But don't you find that symbiosis amazing? The movements of the lizard are helping spread the spores. As far as what the lizard is gaining, I'll have to study that closer. Maybe it doesn't even know. Maybe we should tell it. No way. You don't get in the way of Mother Nature's plans. I'll make sure I remember that next time you have salad stuck in your teeth. Do you think that's impressive? We can fly too. Make sure they don't get squished. Have you ever seen such a thing? No, never. Must be an endemic species. I wonder if it's edible. Go ahead, taste it. Why should I be the one to test it? Your body mass is higher, so you have better resistance to poison. And also, you saw them first. I wouldn't dream of stealing the discovery from you. Think about it. You'll be the first person in the universe to ingest these berries. If you won't do it for us, please do it for science, Kay. Okay, for science. <coughs> is it that bad? No, Ooh, no. It's just very peppery. Let me taste. <laughs> oh yeah, these are good actually. You really have an infant's palate. Off we go. Let's pick these. I'm not sure these will go great with the apple dews, but where there's a meal, there's a way. You know what doesn't go great with apple dews? Apple dews. Got a big one. Seems like our mini flow bridge wasn't a unique occurrence. Good. Wow, that's actually. What is that? We should take a closer look. Great. We can bring that back to the nest to study it. Any idea what's underneath our feet, Mr. Geologist? Not really. It looks like a dust deposition. Some kind of rust. And it looks like this kind of rust is particularly sensitive to flow. What? Look beneath your feet. Oh, there's vegetation underneath. It was probably smothered. Good thing we came this way. That way, look, it looks like the rust has formed into a bigger chunk. It means 
there must be others. If we're lucky, they'll bring us back to the nest. We should find the nest if we keep going north. Explain to me how you know which way north is on this planet. Uh, we should find the nest if we keep going straight ahead. <laughs> Thank you. I thought it smelled good around here. We almost missed this one. Bo Aren't we the lucky ones? Uh, what are they? You've never heard of boba nuts? They're one of the most nutritious nuts. 25% carbohydrates, 50% protein, 75% lipids. Great. But how does it taste? Didn't you hear what I said? 75% fat. <laughs> of course it tastes great. For here or to go? To go. Too bad. I thought this planet was supposed to be a desert. Deserted. Not a desert. According to the archives, a colonization plan had been considered by the Apiary, with Exanova as the main provider. But the planet was eventually classified as inhospitable. Let me guess. Is it because of that rusty stuff? I don't know. The file doesn't say anything about that. Hmm. I hope we don't have any more unpleasant surprises. Here, we found the nest. But in what state? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no way this thing is flying again. Don't say that. You could make a rock fly with the right tools. Well, maybe. But not this one. Both wings are wasted. The propellers were ripped off. And I'm not even done checking the inside. We weren't really planning on leaving, were we? We don't really have another place to go anyway. I'm tired. Why are we always so unlucky? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hold on. We decide to escape the Apiary, which apparently no one has managed to do before us. We punch in some coordinates really at random, only because some obscure document from Exanova vaguely attested to the existence of a habitable planet. By some kind of miracle, we cross the boundaries of the apiary without getting caught. We travel across space in a Class D ship that is totally not designed for that. And in spite of the fact that this is not all terrain, we land without breaking anything. We find food and flow on site, even though we hadn't really planned for it. Finally, we get hit with an earthquake, all right, but we get out of it unscathed. The only real consequence is that the nest is a little bit busted. <laughs> and you think that we're unlucky? You. We are the luckiest people in the universe. That's... that's one way to see it. This planet is our chance to start a new life. With our own rules. Away from the apiary, from the matchmaker and all that loot. And I'd rather endure a thousand earthquakes and risk being away from you. What did you say this planet was called again? Source. Source. The beginning of something. Seems like it. Whoa. What a mess. And now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah. We'll need to find a way to correct that. But it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax. If 
You know what I mean. You can do whatever you want, but I am going to bed. I'm not hungry. I never thought I would hear you say that in my whole life. I guess my stomach has a deep connection to the nest condition. Do you want to tidy up a bit? No. Tomorrow. I don't feel strong enough right now. You okay? Uh, you? Wake up! It's okay. I'm here. That was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. <laughs> Rest easy. No! I was awake. I, I could hear you. I just couldn't move or yell. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. For real? It used to happen when I was a teenager. You feel something weighing on your stomach? Yeah. On my chest. What was it? I don't know. I used to call it the ball, because sometimes it felt like a huge ball was crushing me. Oh. No, that didn't happen to me. I wouldn't wish it upon you. For me, it resolved itself when I left the foster home. For you, it may be related to the nest. But I don't want to leave the nest. That's not what I meant. You're stuck to the bed. The nest is stuck to the ground. There must be something in that. You've been flying in this thing for years. I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. Huh. No kidding. Which means that if we fix up the nest, this'll all go away? Could be. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing parts then. So I can get fixed up too. All right. Now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah, we're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. You? Yeah? I see you've brushed your hair in the shower again. How can you tell? It's not draining. Oh, sorry.
So? There's kind of an apple dew taste. It's in there. Hey, you never told me. What does your mate look like? Eh, I don't know. Didn't you get her file from the matchmaker? Yeah, I did. But I never really looked at it. Seriously? You're not even curious? Well, no. I already knew you. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, we'll look at it together. If you wish. Huh. Oh, all right. Any other pictures? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. She's kind of cute. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Don't you? I don't know. Too much makeup, I think. I like a more natural look. Like yours. Mm-hmm. Do you really think I'm not wearing any kind of makeup right now? Um... <laughs> Come on. Let's check her profile instead of this foolishness. Let's see. Interests. Reading, music, having a drink with my friends. Whoa. Do you think you can handle such a strong personality? <laughs> That's harsh. Job. Ocean Biology Research Assistant at the University of Ox. Huh. Okay. Looks like you two are made for each other. No one is made for each other. That's the kind of rhetoric the matchmaker uses. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But it still looks to me like that was a bleeding good pick. You'd make a great couple. Might have made. There's a difference. Uh, tell me. Are you really wearing makeup right now? <laughs> we spend every waking minute together in the nest. If I discreetly slipped into the bathroom every morning to put on some eyeliner, don't you think you'd notice? <laughs> yeah, at least I think. But you're not really answering my question, though. I know. <laughs>